Hey everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us for another great video here in Chuckwagon MTG. Today, once again, we're opening up packs for patrons. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. Um, we're gonna pull out some packs here. Uh, you know, we're going. We'll leave them. Yeah, we're gonna leave them in the box. We're gonna leave them in the box. That's what we're gonna do. Anywho, um, we're gonna go ahead and start off with Joel Sudnarhusky. Well, thank you very much for being a patron. It's greatly appreciated. Um, and then for everyone else, don't forget, we are going to be giving away a pack uh, later on in the video to uh, one of the comments from last week's video. So we're going to go ahead and grab two of these packs for Joel. Then we got our Patreon Build-A-Pack box here. Um, we got one and two rares. Common or uncommon, worth at least a buck. We'll go towards the front for that one. Go towards the back for a random foil. And then we'll go towards the middle for a foil basic. That's right, everyone that gets the build the pack box gets two rares, a common or uncommon, worth at least a buck, of guaranteed foil and a foil basic. All sorts of good deals right there. Um, so if you're not a patron, go ahead and check out down in the description. We got a link to our Patreon. Uh, this one that Joel's doing is only 10 bucks a month. He also gets 10 cards out of here. This is just stuff throughout magic history, commons and uncommons. There is the occasional rare card splashed in. There's also the occasional foil splashed in. We also have prize cards of extra rares, extra packs, etc., etc. All right, what do we got here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more, nine and ten. Let's go ahead and see what we got for Joel. All right, make sure we're centered here. We got Joint Assault, uh, Unhallowed Pact, Gateway Sneak, uh, get to Lava Mancer. That guy's seeing a little bit of play uh, right now. Actually, not so much anymore, but a little bit ago he was. Uh, we got War Flare. We got Salivating Gremlins. Uh, Cillian Elf, that's an old shards card there. Flameborn Hellion. We got a Glint Hawk Idol and Lava Axe. Gotta love a Lava Axe. All right, our foil basic is. Ooh, we got a Kamigawa Forest. That's not too shabby. Let's see what we got for our basic. Our basic is a foil Glow Spore Shaman. Common or uncommon, worth at least a buck. We've got Lord of the Accursed. Uh, now, I haven't checked these prices in a while. Um, if it's not a buck, we'll go ahead and replace it for you. But I think he's still up there. So, First rare is Soul Swallower. Um, I had a lot of fun with him when he was in Standard. Um, not a very popular card, but I enjoyed it. Next one is ooh, Second Harvest. Um, yeah, this is kind of a... A good thing with, you know, tokens. Good stuff right there. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and see what we got in our packs for Joel. Alright. Uh, let's see. Right Bell, no. Sphinx, no. Clan Guild Mage, no. Our rare is... Hey, Mythic Ravager Worm. Alright. Um... I don't know if that where that guy's at price wise. I know he was up there for a little bit, and then he went way back down, and then he shot up again. I think he went back down. I don't know. That's still a good card, though. All right, oh, we went too far. No, we didn't. All right, we got the Basilica Bell Haunt uh, Terramander. That's not too. Uh, he, well, that one's falling pretty good too, because uh, the mono blue just. Uh, it's not the, the deck of the day anymore. Uh, Macabre Mockery and, hey, Absorb. This card, this is good stuff right here. Good stuff right there. Well, there you are, Joel. Thank you very much. It is greatly appreciated for being a patron. I'm going to go ahead and take your cards here. Grab your little cards So we don't mix you up with other people's cards. And stick that off to the side. All right, next up we have MTG Hermit. MTG Hermit, thank you very much for being a patron. Greatly appreciated. Uh, he's in the same tier, so we're going to grab him two packs. 
next month we start getting to War of the Spark. I am so excited. I've already got y'all's boxes ordered. It's going to be fun and a bun. All right, we'll grab a common or uncommon. We'll grab from the middle for a foil, and we'll grab towards the second from the front for a basic land. We'll see if that does any good. And then we get ten out of here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, let's see what we can get for MTG Hermit. Uh, we got a World Soul Colossus Cosmotronic Wave. Still love this card. Absolutely love it. Uh, we got Waxing Moon, Vidalkin Blade Master, uh, Urborg Uprising. I love that, you know, I got the autofocus turned off so it doesn't do a whole lot of crazy dancing around, but I wish I could zoom in on this because this picture. I'm not sure what it is. I just love this picture. This art. I, it just, I don't know. I like it. Uh, we got a Dehund Operative. I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, Appetite for the Unnatural. Harsh Sustenance. Boros Locket. And a Burn. Bright. All right. Let's see what you got for your basic. You got, oh, ho, 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 ho. Very, very nice. Uh. This is definitely a very beautiful island. Absolutely love that. So pretty. Oh. All right. Uh, our foil is a Phyrexian Digester. Not too shabby there. Common or uncommon, we got Bant Panorama. Um, I think this is still up there. Like I said, double check if it's not, but I'm pretty sure that one still is. Our first rare is a Flame Wake or Fire Wing Phoenix, not Flame Wake. <laughs> And then we got a Wharf Infiltrator. All righty. Let's go ahead and see what we got in pack number uno. It's my extent of my, the Spanish that stuck with me from back in school. I got all like six or seven words. Anywho, we got, uh, we got a Racketeers, Night of the Last Breath, Gates Ablaze, and then we got, hey, Breeding Pool. Can't go wrong with those. Good stuff right there. All right, let's see what else we can get for Mr. MTG Hermit. All right, we got a uh, uh, Clamor Shaman, uh, Depose, Deploy, Smelt Ward, Ingus, and then we got Thrash and Threat. This one's not too shabby. Uh, I'm a fan. All right. Well, congratulations. Those are the cards you got yourself right there. Not too shabby with that uh, breeding fork. Stick that there. All right. Moving on. We have got, oh, Kevin Wheeler. Kevin, thank you so much for being a patron. It is greatly appreciated uh kevin has been with us for uh quite some time now in fact a lot of our patrons have really been with us uh for the long haul so thank you everyone <laughs> all right we'll grab ourselves a foil here and go with a foil basic and then one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, and lucky number ten. Let's see what we got here. All right, we have a Tongarth's Glare. I think that's how that's pronounced. Uh, we got Anticipate, Adamant Will, Frexian Rager. Is that? Two for, yeah, it's two from Apocalypse. Nice. Tormenting Voice, uh, Star Crown Stag, Archway Angel, Two Headed Zombie, Boros Locket, and a Spectral Prison. All right, all right. Our foil land is. Ew, is, uh, is that Ka Kaladesh? Aether Revolt? Uh, one of them, but it's a Plains from that set. And uh, it's all the lands from this, uh, from this block 
were just absolutely beautiful and slightly more out of the norm than normal. <laughs> uh, our random foil is a ooh, gutter snipe. That's not a bad one either. Common run coming. Uh, we got a vampire cutthroat. First rare it, or mythic is a temporal trespass. Um, this price is actually down pretty far right now. Um, I expect this to go up a little bit. And then we got, hey, a Goblin Rabble Master. That's not too shabby either. I played the heck out of him when he was in Standard. Loved me, Goblin Rabble Master. Let's see what we got in our packs for Kevin. Put that aside there. All right. Oh, I'm making a mess. Making a big old mess. There we go. We got the Galloping Lizrog. We got Arcway Angel. Uh, combined Guild Mage. And then we got... A Guardian Project. Um, now, while this isn't worth a whole lot, this is EDH gold. Uh, the moment I got my hands on my first foil copy of this, it immediately went into uh, my Ronas EDH deck. Because that, that card was made for EDH. It just was. All right, skip, skip, skip. Oh, I think we got a foil. We got a Gate Colossus, Fireblade Artist, Wall of Lost Thoughts, and a Verity Circle. And then our foil is Act of Treason. All right, not too bad. I do like the art on this a little more than the regular Act of Treason art. Um, and tell you what, that foil really makes it pop so that's what we got for you thank you so much for being a patron uh mr kevin we all like to has been with us quite some time get a name tag going here all right and hopefully this video looks a little better than last week's we had some serious issues um i obviously uh don't know what i'm doing when it comes to formatting our videos uh because you know, I, we record the same way every time. We record in HD. Um, it just did not pop out the correct way. Um, when it was all said and done, it was either scrap the video or uh, put it out as was. And I'm not going to not put out a Patreon video because it doesn't look right. Because that's not fair to the patrons. So, anywho, up next we have MTG. Um, uh, absolutely love that channel uh lots of cool openings over there go check it out uh same thing with mtg hermit i mean good good stuff all right uh let's see where do we have we got common run common we're gonna go towards the back here for that and we're gonna do the same for the basic second from the front no we're gonna grab the front or no that is second from the front okay so i did it right all right and we'll grab 10 one two three uh, four five six seven eight nine and ten all righty let's see what we got for MTG Unpacked, we got the Ceruli Gatekeepers, uh, Warped Landscaped, Weirded Vampire, uh, Dune Beetle, Silvok Lifestaff, Stormstrike, Boiling Earth, Oblivion Ring, not too shabby, uh, Maximize Velocity, and a Wave Skimmer, Avon. Another Shards. All right, our basic is a, oh, this is from uh, Time Shift Swamp. That's not too bad. Uh, our random foil is an M10 Unholy Strength. That is beautiful. Love it. Common or uncommon, we've got a Tamir Sabertooth. Love that cat. Good stuff right there. All right, first rare is Crypt Breaker. Second rare is... A Ojitai, Soul of Winter. I almost forgot to grab him two packs. Let's go ahead and see what we can get out of the packs here. 
Thank you very much, MTG Impact, for being a patron. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, it's it's really nice, especially when other creators follow you. It's kind of a... Um, what's the right word I'm looking for? Um, it's just it's it's humbling, but it, and it's rewarding to know that other creators, especially um, you know, with the audience size of MTG Unpacked, it's just it's nice. It's nice. Uh, we got a Hackerbat, Syndicate Guild Mage, Spire Mangler, and we got a Rick's Maddie Reveler, and I think we got a foil, and that is Rally to Battle. Not bad. All right, let's see if we can get out of pack number two. If I can get this thing opened. All right, we've got a Vindictive Vampire, Swirling Torrent, Resolute Watchdog, and Biomancer's Familiar, and another foil. Uh, our foil is... I lied to you, I... There's no foil there. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Bad. I'm sorry. But anyways, uh, not pad pulls. Biomance is familiar. We got a deck tech out. I know we've linked it a hundred times, but I'm probably going to do it again. Eh, I might not. Anywho, Biomance is familiar. Check out Shark to Crab Nato. He uses that guy. It's all sorts of good. All right. Get your stack Sure, there we go. Now we're thinking with power. All right. Uh, next up, we have Twilight Eve. All right. Thank you very much for being a patron. Greatly appreciate it. Two packs. We got a lot of people at that $10 tier. <laughs> and then we're going to grab a couple rares. We got one. We got two starting to get a little thin here thank goodness we got stuff coming to be opened for the channel to go specifically into this box and then we'll grab one two three oh we got a double side four uh, five six seven eight nine and all right, let's see what we got for Twilight's Eve. We got a Drown in Filth, uh, Apoth Apothecary Geist, Midnight Scavengers, that was that double side one we saw, Golgari Locket, Indulgent Aristocrat, that's not bad, Spire Mangler, Calvary Drillmaster, Severed Strands, Sandblast, and a Cemetery Recruitment. All right, our foil basic is a Shadows Swamp. That's kind of nice. Our random foil is a Dead Weight. I have abused the heck out of this card in the last couple months. Uh, our common run common is a Wilderness Reclamation. That's pretty good. And that's good. That's, this is one that's going to hold some value because that just, that's EDH. All right. Our first rare is a Shu Yun, the Silent Tempest. And then we got Erratic Cyclops. We'll go ahead and crack open the pack, see what we can get for Twilight. All righty. Uh, there we go. All right, we got a Screaming Shield Wilderness Reclamation. <laughs> Code of Constraint. And then a Hollowed Fountain. Nice. Very, very nice. It's always nice when you can you know, pull the money stuff for patrons, and especially lands. That's not something that, I mean, yes, price is probably going to drop. Rotation is going to come around, um, and people are going to dump standard sets and... Because there are those people out there that just play standard, uh, and they're going to get rid of that. And so price can go down maybe a little bit, um, but the price will come back. That's almost almost a guarantee uh, with the land. So we got an Angelic Exaltation, Sphinx of New Prov, 
Spirit of the Spires and End Rays Forerunners. Okay, so real quick, um, we did a, a thing with um, MTG Strategist and I were talking about, we did a, a live stream talking about the new set coming out and we can actually do pig tribal um between the new boar that's coming out and then a few of the other boars that already exist it's not going to be a tier one deck but it, it's going to be pig tribal so i mean do we gotta say much more it's going to be nuts. Anyways, I digress. Uh, anyways, Twilight, thank you very much for being a patron. Greatly appreciated. Um, did we get you in our lands last night, too? I think, maybe? I don't know. My memory's horrible. But anyways, there's your cards. Name tags on it. Putting them aside. What do we have? Oh, we have got... Um, Pull the box back over here. Kevin Chan. Kevin Chan is one of our booster pack members. So he gets a single pack. And then he gets a foil basic. Just because we love giving out foil basics. Alright, let's check out what our foil basic is. He got a Scars of Mirrodin Forest. Alright, let's see what we can get for him out of his pack. Kevin, thank you so much for being a patron. It is greatly appreciated. Kevin is actually our oldest patron. He's been around since, well, since day one, pretty much. <laughs> Even when we weren't actually doing Patreon. Good stuff. Uh, let's see, Hacker Bat, Rally to Battle, Wilderness Reclamation, and Lumbering Battlement. You know what? There was so much hype around this card, and I'm just not seeing the play out of it. I want this thing to be something. I really do. Because that just seems good to me. Unfortunately, other people don't see it the same way. So I don't know. Anyways, Kevin, there you are. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Name tag. Alrighty. Now on to the part uh, that some of you have been waiting for, where we pick our winner. Um, from, uh, last week's comments. So we're going to go ahead and I should probably start that there. There we go. All right. So we got this going. Um, essentially everyone that commented on last week's video, your name is here on the wheel. We're going to run over to random.org. We're going to go ahead and roll two six side dice, wherever it comes up. That's how many times we're going to click the wheel. And it is six. We're going to click this thing six times. Good luck to everyone that's involved. We got once, twice, thrice, four, five, and six. Congratulations to Woot! Woot MPG! You are the winner of this pack that we're going to be giving away here. Thank you for participating and commenting on videos and all that good stuff. Thank you ever so much. All right, so let's go ahead and crack this thing open here. And see what we get for Woot. All right. Oh, try, I remember trying to keep this on camera. I'd force a habit to just kind of pull it closer to me. All right. Clear the stage. No. Rakdos. No. Terramander. Eh. And then we got Hero of Precinct 1. Um... This is another one that, it, it, yes, it's seen some play. I just thought it'd be doing a lot more. Um, now, I'll be the first to admit, I am not the best judge um, of cards when they first come out. I'm really not. I mean, I'm pretty good when it comes to limited, but standard, no. I, just, I thought we are going to be seeing more of him. But anyways, I digress. I'm going to go ahead and pull a sleeve out here. And this is for you, Woot. Just remember, you got 30 days to contact me to collect this. Get me an address. We'll get it shipped out to you. Um, but for some odd reason, um, people don't collect their prizes from us. Um, in fact, our last uh, the giveaway with the commander trays, neither commander tray has been claimed yet. Um, and then we have 
uh, both mentioned it on here and sent out emails to the winners and nothing. So, uh, like I said, we keep this stuff for, uh, for 30 days. Speaking of which, what's the date today? All right. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and take this off screen so you can't see how far ahead we record this stuff. Yeah, sneaky, sneaky. All right. Um, but yeah, so I, uh, I still got the commander trays uh, that have not been claimed. Um, our last, who was that? Uh, the one that won the uh, five packs um, that never contacted me to let me know what packs he wanted. So I eventually just opened uh five packs for the newest set because that's what i had scott halleck um once again sent uh an email uh through gleam and then i've sent it in here several times and still nothing i mean i mean good news is the stuff that isn't claimed is gonna be put into the patreon build a pack box um so people will get the stuff eventually um, but like the commander trays, I'm just gonna have to do another giveaway. Um, uh, you know, but anywho, <laughs> I'm going on a tangent here. Uh, that about wraps it up. Um, I hope everyone has an amazing pre-release weekend, uh, for War of the Spark. Um, we, I had hoped to get a, uh, a video up, uh, kind of like a pre-release primer, um, because the last one went over pretty well, and I believe our predictions were rather accurate. Um, but with the new software and everything, I just don't have the confidence uh, that we can pump out a quality uh, video such as a pre-release primer. I don't think we, we have the tools for it yet, or at least the knowledge to use the tools. Um, so unfortunately, that's not going to be coming Fingers crossed, come next set, uh, I'll have enough experience with this new editor to be able to put something out there. But anyways, I hope you all have a great pre-release weekend. We want to know what you pulled, what crazy shenanigans you get to pull off. Um, you know, how many Planeswalkers did you have on the field at one time? How many Planeswalkers did you get to blow up uh, with, what is that, the Elder Spell? That two black sorcery kill them all i want to i want to see numbers i want to know what your high numbers are i want to hear someone say you know what i well wiped 12 planeswalkers off the boards it was beautiful um so anyways thank you very much for watching if you like what you saw here today do us a huge favor click the like button hit subscribe hit the bell notification button so you can tell we come out with new stuff and then share this with your friends your family your loved ones and your pets everyone could use a little more magic in their lives once again, thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, ChuckwagonMTG.